Hello, welcome to Cami Designs, and we are going to continue to work on this sock on double pointed needles. Now, if you're following along with the video series, I last cast it on the stitches and started my rib. And this is a one by one rib, so purl one, knit one, all the way around. And there are a total of 64 stitches here. And I have four double pointed needles, and then I have the needle that I, my working needle. And I'm going to be working on the leg part. I just finished the cuff. It's about one inch. I have a one inch cuff here. And so I'm working the leg. But really quick, I want to show you a kind of a diagram here. This is not my own diagram. I found it online. You can find them just by, you know, Google searching. And I'll show you quick here what an anatomy of a sock, of sock knitting. So we just did the cuff. So now we're going to work the leg. Then we'll go onto the heel flap, the heel turn, the gusset, the foot, and the toe. It seems complicated, but once you get started, it really is not, especially if the pattern is written clearly enough. So right now we're just gonna do the leg, which I'm just going to do a simple sock, and I'll show you one I've done in the past here. Oops. So this is one I've worked on before, and it is just a stock knot, so it's just knit every one. And it kinda, a little stretch to it. This has got, here's the cuff, the leg, the heel flap, this is the heel turn right here, and then here is the gusset. And then it goes on to the foot and the toe. It's not too hard. It looks more complicated than what it is. Um, it can get more complicated if the pattern, you know, if you're working a cable into a pattern, which I, the first sock I ever did, here's another one. I did work a cable into it. There's, little, there's fuzzies on it. But, um, so it can get a little complicated if you're working a cable into it. But usually the bottom is always just knit and the cable just continues onto the top of the foot. But, okay. So I want to, I'm at the beginning of my round here. So I want to take this off because this is now going to become needle one. I want to slip my thing on there knowing it's my first needle. And I'm just going to knit now every round because I'm just going right into the leg part. Now some patterns might have you switch to a different size needle, um, but this this pattern here, I'm just going to make it really easy and just stick with the same size needle. And so I just want to knit every round. And this is where you'll determine how long you want your sock. If you want just like an ankle sock, this would not be very long. You would just knit probably a couple inches and be done with it. If you want tall sock, you could be knitting in the round for a while on your leg part. This is where it's completely up to you what the size is. And so I'm just knitting every stitch. And if you'd like this, the PDF picture I just showed, or the JPEG picture, I will try to find it again on Google and I will put a link to that person's website where I found it. Um, some patterns will already have that picture or type of picture in their pattern. But, so this is just, I'm going to knit each one. So I want to slide because now this is my working needle. I want to kind of go behind here until I get a few stitches worked. And 
and this is the color here is red heart papaya and I found it at Walmart and the size the needles I'm using are knitters pride and the size is a US 1.5 which is a 2.50 millimeter and I really like these Knitter's Pride needles. This is, I think, the only set I have of Knitter's Pride. And I absolutely love them. But I... Their kits, their full sets are a little expensive. So I don't have a full set. If I need them, I will buy them as I go. Not that I wouldn't if I got a set for my birthday would not be upset but this is just what I have right now I actually bought these because I worked on a pair of socks for my mom she is a crocheter not a knitter so she had me work her a pair of socks and I broke my wooden set and but you can get a, a fairly large set of double-pointed needles on Amazon. And I think I have them here. I can show you. They're in one of these packs here. Nope, that is not it. I think I hear them into this one. Okay. So this is what the... If you order this a set off Amazon for double pointed needles, you'll get a bunch in these little plastic bag things. And it says the size on them. And I've worked these with hats and they work perfect. And they are short. They are only let's see. Five inches. Um, so you can't, it's, it makes it a little more difficult if you have a lot of stitches on a needle. There are five of each size and they come, you get quite a bit of them. But, wrap this back up here. And, um, these ones here, the Knitter's Pride are so point to point is six inches so you would think another inch wouldn't make a difference but it does and since these are not wooden i'm not worried about bending and breaking these so i'm just going to keep knitting in the round here And I just keep switching needles as I go. If you want, if you're working with three needles, you do have to s don't switch as much. Which, it's not a bad thing. Um, but you can also work this pattern on a sock. I call them sock circular needles. Which is like, like this. And this is the same size as these. But these are cho chogu. I could be mispronouncing that. Um, and these I found on Amazon. I got these at the same time as I got these. Um, the only problem is when you're working a sock on circulars like this, that when you get to the heel flap here, this is worked back and forth. It's worked flat. Whereas these are worked in the round. So what I do is I, if I'm working with these, the circular, I put these stitches that you don't work right away to hold onto those. And then I pull out double pointed needles to work this. So just keep that in mind if you go ahead to use the circular needles. I will do, once we finish this sock on the double pointed needles, I'll do the second sock on circular so you can see the difference. 
Okay. And I want to remind you that I like to push my stitches to the center so they're less likely to slide off. Okay, and I need to get some more yarn here. There we go. Once again, I'm just knitting every row now until I get my desired length of sock here. And you can follow along in this video series, or once I finish one sock, I will type up the pattern and you can get it on Ravelry in a PDF. But that won't be until I finish this first sock. Because I want to know how many stitches I want to do. All that. So I always knit one first. And so... last stitch here and I'll just end this here I only did one row because I talked a lot a bit about other things but you just want to keep going knit each round until you get your desired length of leg and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you want to be notified when my videos air um, hit the little bell icon when you subscribe and Remember, when I reach a 1,000 subscribers, I will start giving away some of my patterns off Ravelry for free. And I just ask that you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.